It's been a while since we've done a video. So, hi Katie. Yes. Hello all. So we are Misty and Katie from the Dreamweaver team at Samson Properties. And you might have seen on social media that we have a new magazine launching. Yes. Yes. Yay. Old Townist. Oh my gosh. So exciting. Fabulous. Yeah. So first we have a launch party. November 28th, right before the Old Town Christmas Parade. How perfect is that? So you yes. can come get some snacks, learn, get a copy. There's only, we only have 400 copies, printing copies coming out for the first month. So uh, stop by and grab one of those. We'll put details on this video. But we wanted to do this video because our December issue has a fantastic article with Chef Dan Culber of Village Square, <laughs> uh, Water Street Kitchen, and Dan Seafood. Mm -hmm. And what did we? You ask? probably would recognize him you if would, you don't know the name. If you don't know the name, you, you would know recognize him. him. Yes, um, we absolutely love Dan, Chef Dan. Uh, anytime I travel somewhere, I'm like, okay, what restaurant should I go to? And he just knows. Like he just knows everything. Um, so what are we doing today? It's yeah, exciting. so I got to have lunch with him at Village Square, and we chatted for like two hours about all sorts of things. It was amazing. Um, and one of the questions that we asked him was, what do what would you want somebody to know about you? Like, what has nobody asked you about before? And you've been dying to tell somebody. In classic Dan fashion. <laughs> he says that nobody ever asks him what his favorite wine is. But it turns out that his favorite wine is champagne. Because he really he just loves the bubbles of it, and literally for his last meal, he would have champagne. How awesome! Is yeah, that? and <laughs> just to be clear, just champagne. He just was like, champagne. I would find the largest bottle of champagne that I could find, and that would be my entire meal. He doesn't need food. Okay. Yeah. Loves champagne, and so do we. And we Katie's appreciate all that. Over. We appreciate <laughs> that. That's amazing. Uh, but. He made a really interesting reference. So he likes a specific champagne. This is Paul, Paul Roger, right? I don't know if I said that right. How you pronounce it? We don't know. We had to go to Total Wine to find this yes. in Leesburg. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Which was a fun trip. But he really loved this one. He said that he loves all the little tiny bubbles. And But the reason that we're making this video is because he said to do yourself a favor and get this champagne and specifically... Route 11 chips, the what? original, okay? And so here we are, and we're going to do a taste and test. And this is so exciting because these are my favorite chips. These are, are like they? the only <laughs> chips that I buy, um, except the Cape Cod. But oh, they're so good, you guys. And if you don't know they're local, you can go take a tour and get chips at the end, which is cool. All the kids love doing that. I know mine did. I didn't know that that was a thing. You didn't know that was a thing? Oh, you need to take the kids there. They have a whole tour. Yeah. It's Where amazing. is the tour? Where is it's it? It's in Middletown. Like we'll Middletown, Stephen City. We'll Google it. Don't, yes. don't trust us on Stephen that. City, we'll maybe. It. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> it probably says on your... Mount Jackson. My bad. Mount Jackson. Okay, go farther. A little That's farther. Down, but yes. it's local. Yeah, it's so, local. so fun for the kids. So we're going to try this combination. We're kind yes. of excited about this. And, okay, oh, I want to point out. Yes. So we, we have... a little education tip. Okay. Do you see these champagne glasses? So we're using these. These were gifted to me by Jenny Baker who works at Navy Federal, if you don't know her. She's adorable. <laughs> She's the classiest person you'll ever meet. <laughs> and she bought these from an antique shop for me many, many, many years ago. And I was like, what the hell are these? And she, am I allowed to curse? I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm not this video already. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know what these, What I know they're glasses, but I was like, what are these for? What are they? <laughs> Keep in mind, this was more than 10 years ago. And um, I've learned things since then. <laughs> And she told me that these are champagne glasses. These are what original champagne glasses are. Yeah. And if you ever watch like... Um, like 1920 stuff, you'll see, yeah. What was the, sh the show with... Um... Gatsby? Greg Gatsby? <laughs> no, but they do it too. They do. Okay, yeah. oh my God, that's those, a good reference. Yes. Yeah. Anything and, from that era. Yeah. But so Dan in the interview was very specific and he was like... But you can't use flutes because those are wrong. Those are not what you're <laughs> supposed to have champagne in. That actually it does need more air for it. And so that if you were to go to the Champagne region of France and do test tastings, yeah. they have these wide glasses. It's interesting because now that we talk about it, when we go to Bredet, they don't use like the tall skinny flutes. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And they know what's up because they are know. up on all of the French the, wines. Too, well, Loretta so. is who got me into champagne. So. Yes. Yeah. So they clearly know what they're talking about. Yeah. If you haven't awesome. been there, Brude Family oh, vineyards, vineyards is amazing. amazing. I was there yesterday. Go now. Were you? They have their- <laughs> <laughs> because they had their uh, member wine release and they do a cheese pairing or tasting rather um, for Thanksgiving and then you get to order all of your French cheeses so I did that yesterday um, so Katie is our expert champagne opener so she's okay, going now, to do that let me just clarify <laughs> Heidi Hiller very loud Heidi Hiller oh, who Heidi. owns yes. Murphy's, Murphy's beverage. beverage Murphy's Beverage She's like an actual sommelier, and when she went through all her sommelier stuff, she had to pour for all of us as, like, practice. Right. So, Heidi, please don't look at how I'm opening this. Okay, like, <laughs> okay, well, this is... Clearly, this is not the right way. I'm not a... I'm just... I'm not going to show you. Well, she had to get the giant bag of chips. The like, point is... <laughs> small one I would normally There's not get. a tab on this. What is there not a is tab? Is there not? Oh. I'm it's fine. I got, it. I, got right it. I got 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 it. We got it. Okay. Shh. It's fine. That's not the point. But so she taught me how you actually hold it and, you know, you can't like lean it against anything when you're opening it. So we're just, this is not official. This is me and Misty. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I can't open it. It scares me every time, even when I know it's going to happen. (laughs) So I got a bottle of wine um, at Antica Trattoria, Trattoria. Trattoria um, wine dinner about a month ago. There's another one this week I'm going to. I know. (laughs) But the bottle was so cool because it had actual like hand holds on the bottom of it so you could pour it correctly. Oh. It was really cool. Yeah. So I don't know. That is another great old town place. Yes. 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 Kiara is fabulous. We love her. Okay. So if you don't know, champagne is wine, you guys. I was not aware of that until Loretta spooled me. I had only tried really, really bad champagne. We have no idea. I'm saying, I would only be doing this because of Loretta, but thank you, Dan. So we're going to try. He said, this is like the smallest bubbles, and they are so They are really tiny bubbles. They're very tiny. I feel like my hands are gigantic holding this little glass, though. (laughs) That's I'm good. holding it wrong. I should be holding this down, but I can't switch it at the no. moment. It's okay. So the champagne's pretty good. It's pretty dry. Yeah. I like dry. Everything dries. Me too. We're making this video at like 2.30 in the afternoon. And... <laughs> I told Katie, I'm like, we should do this at our team meeting this week. She's like, yeah, it's at 10 a.m. Misty. Like, <laughs> Are we whoops. drinking at 10 a.m.? <laughs> so now yeah, we can uh-huh. do this. Okay. Let me grab the chip here. Okay. Well, we already knew the chips were good. We know that. The champagne is good. Mm -hmm. I have to have like multiple. Before and after. That's nice. They don't compete at all, which is what I worry about sometimes with Mm -hmm. wine and food, new pairings. I feel like this is very good. dangerous because you would just eat this bag and drink the whole thing. Well, though. that's, I'm like, we have to get the large bag because we have a whole bottle of champagne. <laughs> that was probably not a good idea. I don't know. I feel like we're going to keep drinking this <laughs> after this video and keep it going. Eating and drinking. It is a good pairing. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry if you can hear my crunching. <laughs> my microphone right there. I'm trying to figure out like a good way to describe it. I obviously would not do well on, you know, Food Network because yeah, we are not we're not those people. Yeah, but I do I do like the pairing. I like the champagne a lot. I, like I do too, lot. and I was a little worried about with the salt in the chips that there'd be something, but it's very good. But this is very lightly salted. Those chips, those are not, yeah, those are not, not the crazy. overbearing yeah. ones for sure. That's why I love those. But this is a great pairing, Jeff Dan. Yeah. Of course, I knew what you knew what you were talking about. But you know, that's kind of your thing. Kind of what you do. You've only been, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Rock and so Village Square for eighteen years. You know, whatever. Yeah. So first, uh, congrats, Chef Dan, because that is what is our article is about. He is now yes. the owner. Well, to be fair, he was already the owner. he was already the owner. The restaurant. Yes. Yes. He did own the restaurant for a while as a co-owner with 
David Smith. Yes. And, well, I guess okay. There was a whole. It's a whole thing. Part there's of a lot of. There's blah, blah, blah. a lot. Of, but you know now it's switched, and so their manager D is yes. now his partner, and so D and Dan are the full time, full time, whatever, the co owners. <laughs> of Village Square, which I think is awesome, because it they both is. have been around forever. Since it started, basically. He spent, he's I mean, he's been, been the, Dan the manager. Dan has been in the shop. Di. D. D, sorry. <laughs> it's just what happens when I drink champagne. I know, we just started. Forget people's names. It's really not good. Um, no, they've been, he's been he's around been for like 17 years, I want to say. It's in the article. That. You could read that. Yeah, it's in uh, the article. But he's been there longer than that, because they were both there. Uh, my first marriage. <laughs> so that okay, was... Okay, well, for aging in that way, <laughs> yes. More than 18 Excellent. years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm really excited for them because they really want to keep... I mean, Village Square is an institution oh, in the city of Winchester. They're not yeah. going to do something crazy, but, you know, they are so good at what they do that you know however they continue to transition the the restaurant is really just going to make it better right and better and i'm excited for them yeah about that and i think some yeah. new ideas and stuff so yeah yeah it's just so yeah. cool that yeah. now they're top partners and uh, congrats guys yes but you can yeah. read the full article in our first edition of old townist magazine you can get a subscription to the magazine for free at oldtownist.com so oldtownist.com, <laughs> very simple. Yeah. And we would love for you to come to the launch party and hang out with us on Monday, November 28th from five to seven. We will be at the Samson Properties office, which is the old Winchester Star Building at New, New, Two, two North, North Kent, we're drinking, what is happening? <laughs> two North Kent Street. We should have eaten before this. <laughs> you know, and we would love for you to come. It's open to anyone. We will have lots of fun things to do and you can stay warm here before yes. you head over to the Christmas parade downtown, which would be great. Exactly, so. come warm up with us and see the magazine and see how you can get involved. We have a page six where you can send in your photos of you out and about in Old Town. So you could possibly be featured in the magazine, even if you don't have a business down here or anything. Yeah, how absolutely. How exciting is that? Everyone wants to be on page six. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the launch of the new magazine and we hope to see you around Old Town. Still drinking it. We're going to drink it all.